Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a video because it's cold out and <laughs> I wanted to do some makeup that, you know, would make me feel warmer, you know, maybe psychologically feel warmer. So that's what that's what today is all about, is trying to feel a little bit warmer because it's really cold around here. And I um, got the Super Goop Glow Oil with SPF 50 on, and then the Maybelline Super Stay C Plus tint, and I had that in 102, so I had that on as well. I did go ahead and use the uh, Lumi Bronzer in the medium, and that seems to have walked off. Can't find it at the moment. Um, but I did also use the Peach Bum. And this one is by Wet n Wild. And apparently uh, they're coming out with the new packaging for these. But uh, the formulas, well, they still have the same shades. So is it reformulated? Is it not reformulated? Who knows at this point. Um, but again, this is Peach Bum and it's really cute shade and then I did go over it with the powder and I used the ColourPop and this is the Dancing Queen. These are, these are uh, some of the blushes that you can get over at Target and Ulta and uh, this particular one has shimmer in it. So um, again that's Dancing Queen and then I did go ahead and use the Maybelline Master Chrome. This one is in Molten Peach and this is actually a highlighter. And so they're all pretty close as far as the actual color. So that's the highlighter that I have on. Did go ahead and use a Physician's Formula. This one is their Butter Glow and Translucent, and it's what I have on as a finishing powder. Uh, I think it's actually a dupe for the uh, Hourglass, their Universal Powder, which is a little bit older, a little bit different from their ambient powders. And then as far as what I have on the lips, uh, let's see, I did go ahead and use the Maybelline um, Super Stay Matte Ink. I have a lot of Maybelline on today. And this one's in 130. And then I did go ahead and put the NYX Fat Oil on top of it. And this one is in Supermodel. And I'm going to put a little bit more on there. So yeah, that's a really juicy lip there. And let's see, what did I do, do, do anything else? Oh, the usual suspects. The, uh, again, Maybelline Sky High. And I have the mascara primer and the mascara on there. And then as well as the Essence Thick and Wow, this is in Caramel Blonde. And so I do have that on. Um, I did go ahead and use the... Culture 2 by Juvia's Place today to do the eye look. I wanted to see how green I could get the green to go. Not only am I cold and I want to be a little bit warmer, and that green would be a good color to go ahead and do that with, but I also wanted to go ahead and play with the greens in this palette. And they're just so pretty. And so I started with this grassy green in the crease. Went ahead and used this Kelly green. And these aren't the shade names. These are just the way I saw them in the pan. Use this one on the outer corner. I also used this on the outer corner to go ahead and deepen it up. Use this as a eyeliner. As far as what I looked for, or used for the pretty sparkly shades. Um, I did go ahead and use this color right here, and it is a duochrome, and I used that on the brow bone. This shade is called Batik, and um, it's really pretty. I went ahead and used that on the lid. I used a lot of this shade right here, which actually comes off as a gray, and so I used it from here up to here, and then as a brow bone highlight, so I have it on there as well. Um, let's see, was there anything else that I used from this palette? I think that was it. I think um, it's a really gorgeous palette. It's over at Ulta and on the Juvia's Place website, and it has a whole bunch of Duke duochromes in it. So if you want to go ahead and try out some duochromes, um, but you don't 
necessarily want to go to the indie brands and the indie brands can get really expensive with duochromes uh, then this is definitely an alternative for you a lot of the newer Juvia well let me get this one a lot of the newer Juvia's place uh, palettes this one is Gardena, or Garden of Juvia's and this one has a whole bunch of duochromes as well in it it's a really good summer palette um, but they do tend to do some of these kind of formulations. This is how the eye look turned out. So that's how that worked out. I did go ahead and use, let's see, the Kiss uh, No Glue. And I have uh, my cl clusters in Airy Wispy. And actually there was a big drop that just happened over at Ulta. Not only... <clears throat> excuse me, not only KISS, but a whole bunch of other companies came out with the uh, no glue eyelashes. These are the ones that you put underneath your lashes. I do it after my mascara is dried and then you just pinch them together and they'll go ahead and stay all day. For me, and I'm older and don't use false lashes at all if well, I don't, I basically given up on using them, but with this kind of a thing and just going ahead and pressing them together to go ahead and get them to stick, I can actually go ahead and use them. And I'm, I'm really enjoying going ahead and using them. I'm, uh, with the, what I got, I got over at, well, I got mine over at Walmart, but like I said, there's been a big drop that just happened at Ulta. I got, let's see, 12 clusters for about $7.50. With these, since they go underneath the eye and they're actually inside the eye, I would recommend only using them once and then throwing them away. It's $7.50 for how many pairs is that? Uh, so that would be two, four, six, eight, twelve, so five pairs. Yeah, um, I would also, you know, just to be on the cautious side, I would say don't wear them all the time. Definitely don't wear them for the 24 hours that it says that you can wear them for on the box. Don't reuse them. Um, I just... Uh, it, it just it's concerning with them going underneath the eye and I think for me they're going to be for special occasions and when I want to you know get dressed up and not an everyday kind of thing because I can see that if you use them a lot or reuse them you may cause irritation or get a bacterial infection and nobody wants to do that because that's no good so uh yeah um, fun for getting dressed up and for you know those special occasions but not something that I would be using every day so anyway now that I got the lecture out of the way and I, I wasn't gonna go lecture area but I guess I kind of did um, I am really enjoying the look it did turn out to be more of a gray green kind of look to it and I was trying to get it as dark as I could um, and I think I pretty much got there with it uh, other than that I think that's probably the whole video for today um, oh I did replace yeah one more thing always always forgetting that one more thing Milani make it last in the dewy I did go ahead and replace that and that's just about the video for today and so um have a good day and i hope that it's warmer where you're at than where i'm at because it's still kind of cold so i'll see you later bye